Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Plater Mouse. We're going to take some electrical wire nets. These are devices used to splice wiring together and see how well they work as projectiles. Of course, these were never designed to fly at supersonic speeds, so let's see how well they perform. This is London calling. These wire nets were the correct dimension to fit a 12 gauge shotgun shell, but they were a little bit light, so I added some lead shot to it and then sealed the back end with some silicone. With the lead shot added, the overall weight of the round is now one half ounce. This shell originally contained one and a quarter ounces of lead shot. The new half ounce round should be propelled at a much higher velocity than the original 1250 feet per second this shell was designed for. Loads. That's a hell of a load if it works. Wow. Is accurate. Yeah. Okay, let's shoot a computer hard drive, see if it'll penetrate. Whenever you're ready. Okay, let's shoot the Ninja Turtle. <laughs> Dead on. <laughs> Great jumping catfish. <laughs> that is pretty good. He hit it right. I mean, that's accurate. They went through the the head and the destroyed the glasses, and then it went through again. This what three quarter inch plywood. Yeah. Man, that's just a wire nut. That's impressive. That's weird, there's some lead shot. I wonder if the shot's like coming out. Or it's flying backwards. I bet we can find the wire nut. And Darren did find three of the wire nuts. All that was left was the soft vinyl outer shell, all the inner uh, guts, the shot, the spring wire that's inside there was all gone. Now it probably appear that those wire nut rounds were accurate and probably flew very straight just by what we actually saw when we were there and by the HD footage. But unfortunately that doesn't tell you the whole story. Luckily we had three high speed cameras running and now we can review what footage those three cameras gathered. Even though the rounds were accurate, they did not fly in an aerodynamically sound way. They flew sideways and they tumbled and um, were actually terrible rounds. Now my three high-speed cameras are by no means cinematic grade uh, phantoms or anything like that. In fact, I would never risk uh, putting something of that value, something that's $200,000 or $400,000 behind the target like that and risk damaging it with a deflected shot. Now the reason why these are accurate at this range is just by sheer brute force. There's so much energy and inertia just forcing it to fly straight. The shot that Darren took on the watermelon couldn't have been better placed. The watermelon ripped apart very uniformly. If he was off by you know, a couple inches in any direction, you'd really be able to tell. Now this last shot's pretty cool. He actually missed the target, but you can see why he missed as the uh, wire nut spun around, the centrifugal force just ripped that silicone plug in and uh, all the shot came out and the round became just a wire nut again without any ballast in it. And the wire nut just kept tumbling along and eventually started curving to the left and finally hit the uh, other side of the ditch bank. We'd never be able to see that with just an HD camera. I hope you enjoyed this.